Hello together, long time no see. Um, it had reason I didn't have time so much since I moved from Bali uh, back to Germany. And uh, can imagine there are a lot of things to do, organizing your apartment, new job, and uh, so on. So today uh, I want to make a new video about the NIF Connect SDK. So there's a new version out, the version 3.0. And there are quite a lot of changes actually. First, of overview what is the NIF Connect SDK? It's a software developer kit available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. It's using the real time operation system Zephyr, supports um, Visual Studio Code as IDE. Um, also, we can build their Bluetooth Low Energy, uh, Bluetooth Mesh, Open Thread, and Zigbee application. Uh, and of course, control sensors and whatever. Yeah, build up your own application. Safia is an open source real time operation system. It uh, controls um, hardware via a device tree, so you can activate and deactivate things and uh, setting the pins via a device tree. When you understand the concept, it's quite comfortable actually. It's allow us multi-threading, has a lot of driver for a lot of devices already included. It provides many useful software libraries and supports many different microcontrollers and SOCs. So not only the one from Nordic, um, also like the ESP32 and so on. Uh, the NIF Connect SDK is mostly for the SOCs from Nordic and also for the developer kits there. They are already a board specification inside. And um, also from a few other brands which are using Nordic microcontrollers. So NIF Connect SDK actually, uh, we need the two parts. We needing the tool chain. Um, in earlier time, it was all in one package. Now you have to install it separately. So tool chain is everything uh, you need to build, compile, and flash embedded firmware. If there's a build tools included like CMake, Ninja, and Vest, there's a compiler, the so ARM GCC compiler uh, with libraries and flash and debug tools like NIF util and NIF G program. Um, so NIF G broke, um, it's deprecated. Uh, Nordic try to go on NIF util now and wants to replace everything with NIF util. It's not directly included in the tool chain. Actually, I don't know why you have to install it separately still. I guess they will change it earlier or later. That is better included, uh, but you will see it in the install process. Uh, so SDK itself, it's the software developer kit for building applications. It consists on the real time operation system Zephyr, on the board definitions, uh, there is Bluetooth Low Energy, Open Thread, and Zigbee libraries included, uh, special NIF libraries for the chip from Nordic um, and a few sample applications like the Blinky um, example. What we have to install now, we have to install the Sega software. This is the software for the J-Link programmer. Um, so NIF Connect SDK needs uh, especially the libraries and the drivers. Um, so we have to install it first. Uh, then we needing the NIF Connect for desktop application. There are a few tools inside. Um, in earlier time, we had also to install the tool chain via the NIF Connect for desktop. Now it's not necessary anymore. We can install it via VS Code, Visual Studio Code. So we um, install Visual Studio Code now and afterwards the extension for NIF Connect. And with the extension for NIF Connect, then we can also with Visual Studio Code install the tool chain and send the SDK. And last, we have also to install the NIF util manually so that we can flash then our firmware which we built 
on our board. So first now we install Sega JLink software. So we are searching Sega JLink software. And uh, you see here's a version 8.54 and I'm using the 64-bit for Windows installer. If you have another operation system, of course, you can install another one. Once the download is finished, just double-click it and install it with the default parameters and say to everything yes if you want to install a driver. Next step is to install NIF Connect desktop for desktop. Go here on downloads and download the latest version. Select your operation system. I mean, you know, I'm making it for um, Windows here. When it's finished, just click it again and install it also with the default parameters. Um, you don't have to install here at the moment anything, uh, the programmer and so on, and also the toolchain. It's not necessary since we're making it with the Visual Studio Code. So and this is also the next step, just download Visual Studio Code. Just click here on download. When it's finished, just install it also with the default parameter. Now we can install directly the extension. You're going here on the extension tab and you're searching for NIF Connect. Uh, and you install here NIF for VS Code extension pack. This one here, just install it. And when the installation is finished, you see directly here uh, new icons. And here you can directly go on NIF Connect and install the toolchain. Uh, click here and we are using the latest version, version 3.0.2. It takes a while to install. Uh, it installed it in the default directory, uh, so it's normally a C, uh, NSC. You can also change it, since there is a small icon, you can change the directory, but I recommend, especially for the beginning, that it in this directory. When the installation of the tool chain is finished, you can um, directly download and install the SDK. So you can, or go on Manage SDK, Install SDK, and there you can also choose a version. Well, I always recommend the last one, so version 3.0.2 in this case. Just click it. Um, again, the directory use the same like where the tool chain is installed, and just click enter. And this takes even a little bit longer than the tool chain because the SDK is quite big. So the download process takes a little bit and then also the installation. When the installation from the SDK is finished, you can take a look at the folder structure, go and open SDK directory. So you're seeing the SDK and you're seeing here 
a lot like um, folders like the NFX uh, library uh, tools and Cephia. You find, for example, so boards specification. Yeah, the Nordic ones are here down, and uh, you're seeing here different kinds of developer kit and so on. We could already start now to building our own application, but like I told you before, when we want to flash it later, we needing NRF util. And for this, go searching NRF util, uh, go then on the web page and here on downloads. And you choose here the version for your operation system here, Windows. Uh, a little bit of pity is that you are not seeing the version you are installing. Yeah, at the moment it's version eight, um, and you have then to place it in the path variable. So I copy it and make it in the NCS folder and make that a new subfolder, which is can called NIF util, and I place it here. And then I have to add this in the environment uh, variable. So go here, I make it in the user one in the path here, make on, uh, click on here on edit and make a new one. And there you paste C, NCS, and I F util, click OK, OK, and afterwards, I mean, you have to do it that West find it, the NIF util, the executable, and then you open the PowerShell. Since for the first time we have to call NIF util and install device, yeah. So an F to install device, then it um, installs the device package. And also um, when you're looking here at the directory, you're seeing it's made um, a subfolder and F util here. And then you can use it with uh, Visual Studio Code. So um, before you can now use Visual Studio Code with NAF utils, you have to close it one time and start it again. If not, uh, it doesn't found the NAF util. Yeah. Now we can start directly with uh, an example, a programming example. For this, I'm using the NAF um, developer kit, the NAF 52. 840, yeah, you see it here with the NF52840 chip, and also the LEDs here. And uh, for example application, I make create new application, copy a sample, and then I'm choosing the Blinky. And you see a Blinky, and you can uh, Put it wherever you want, but I use um, here not the NCS directory, I use another directory, the Nordic directory. Just click on enter, make open. And afterwards, when you're going here back on the NIF Connect tab, then you can see here's uh, my Blinky. And you add here a build configuration. And there you choose the target board. We have the NIF52840 DK. Now we have here a slash. When you remember earlier times, there was an underscore. Now it's a slash NIF52840 with a target board. Just click on generate and build. This takes also a while when you do it the first time. It's a build. When the build is finished, you see here so my Blinky. You can look, take a look at the source code. Uh, it's the main 
you're seeing here, so LED is zero, and you can directly flash it on the board. And you see also set, well, I don't know why I don't have an output here, set the flash, it's successful with uh, NIF util now. And you see also set the LED here, so zero is blinking. I change it now to LED two, for example, uh, build it again. and flash it also. And when it's finished, you see here that now the downer LED is blinking. So everything is working fine. And we are finished with the installation of the NIS SDK. So what's happened here all behind the scene when you're pushing the build button? Yeah, I told you already there is a Tool, which is called REST. Yeah, it's a command line tool. And when you click here, build, there you seeing the shell, what's happening. There is a command REST build with a build directory called. Yeah, You can do this also manually, yeah? not only with a button. You have to make here a new shell from NIF Connect. It's a PowerShell with also environment. And you can call here also REST build with a build directory. Then the same is happening here. And also with the flash, when I click here on flash, you think what's happened here. So NIF util is called um, with the command west flash. Yeah, I put it also here in the terminal, just west flash. And you're seeing here the NIF util is called with the, <coughs> with the west command. And also, if I don't want to use, uh, for example, NF util, I can make here runner, uh, this two minus runner, and make here jlink, for example, since the built in programmer jlink is used, yeah, and not NF util. This was a short introduction into the NF connect SDK and the tool chain and how to install it. Uh, I hope you could follow it and see you in the next video.